We're here in sunny Florida, waiting for the start of the NHL season. We're, we're in Scotland. We're in Scotland. I'm here in Scotland on vacation with my wife. That's actually in the North Sea, right, right there behind me. And I didn't plan on making any videos while I was here on account of where on earth would I find hockey? We're in Scotland. Well, not only did I find hockey, but I also found free stuff. That's a dog. So let me tell you the tale of the Aberdeen Lynx. So the Aberdeen Lynx are the local team of where I am right now, Aberdeen, Scotland, and they play in the SNL, which I thought was funny. Scottish National League. Was just randomly looking through the paper and I'm like, oh, Olympic story. Oh no, something in politics, hockey. Hockey? So the second I found out they had a team around here, I had to investigate. I did a whole write up on the experience. You can check that out on sportsnet.ca if it's not up at the second you watch this video, don't worry, it'll be up soon. It was funny, their coach, Barry Carnegie, he, he gave me the time of day, gave me an interview. Ross McIntosh, who played three seasons in the EIHL, and during the lockout he got to play against like Biz Nasty, Anthony Stewart, uh, Tom Sestito. I'm Ross McIntosh from the mighty Dundee, but play for Aberdeen. Does Dundee have a team? Yeah, a few teams but they're really bad and we're really good. And I also got to talk to Jack Durkach, who, I'm not gonna lie, watches the videos. And therefore he's our favorite. Basically the impression I got was, yes, it's still definitely strange. It's definitely odd to hear about ice hockey in Scotland, but not as much now as it used to be. We have quite a good junior set up uh, in, in most of the major sort of cities. Um, Aberdeen's a little bit of an outpost that way, but uh, like Edinburgh, um, Kirkcaldy, uh, Dundee, have all got strong junior setups where they're in from five year old, just like you guys, you know. <laughs> you guys. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going very well for the team. They're drawing about seven, eight hundred fans a game, and the facility holds about 1,100. A couple times they actually had to turn people away. But I loved going to the practice. I, I love going to the, the building. It's, it's the exact same as it is in Canada, probably the States, Sweden, anything. You go there beforehand and, and you see people, they're, they're just skating, they're having a casual night skate. There's a little girl, she's learning how to skate using uh, using one of those little little penguin sleds that you push around. I, I need one of those still. But then the links take the ice and it's very humble, you know? They gotta do it at 10 o'clock at night. You know, I, I joked, I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna I want go see their morning skate. No. And the players are practicing in whatever jersey. I saw one guy with a Martin Brodeur mask. Uh, one guy had a Team Canada jersey. I don't know if you knew I was coming or whatever. And just little tiny things. The coach was wearing a helmet. Don't see that very often. Imagine Mike Babcock like, well, you know, safety first. Ought to take the opportunity to be safe. Something that was excellent for me talking to these guys with the Aberdeen Lynx, you know, as someone who covers the Toronto Maple Leafs, it was an opportunity to interview champions. Very rare. Champions, by the way, who love all the same hockey movies that we do. I guess when I was learning to play or um, starting to get into the sport, then Youngblood was quite a big movie. Um, obviously seen all the, the Mighty Ducks ones and Mystery Alaska and um, Miracle and so on. So yeah, the, it's the same sort of group of movies that I think every hockey fan across the world or player across the world has seen hundred times. You know what? I'm gonna wrap it up here because it's a rare, beautiful, sunny day. I, I don't know, I wanted it to be raining and stuff, but we actually had a couple good days. Um, so we'll wrap this up. I'll be back very soon. Um, once again, that'll be on sportsnet.ca, a write-up about the links. I got another thing coming, but that's a secret. Um, I think there should be another best of of the podcast going up. We should have a guest for our first show back. I don't know why I'm promising that because it's not confirmed. Shoot, now I'm not going to waste the sun. I'm going to get an ice cream cone or something. Who cares? You're not my boss. I'm on vacation. I'm kidding. I love you.